Welcome. We're here with Steve Jeffries, the owner of RockGuard, which is an amazing product that you have to have to protect your boat. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Thanks, Wes. We're here at Bass Pro. I got the brand new uh, Tractor 19 Targa, and we're going to install the RockGuard, and you're going to help us and show us how simple and easy it is to install a rock guard and protect your investment. Well, for sure, it's gonna be easy. We have everything laid out on the ground that we need to go, and it's gonna be as simple as nuts and bolts. Now, we're here at Tractor Marine at Bass Pro Shops, but this can be done on your driveway. It can be, if you got enough Just room like to park your driveway. boat, yeah, if you got enough yep. room to park your boat, you can install a rock guard. So, Steve, you said for install purposes, we're gonna keep all our hardware loose on both sides. Yeah, when we, when we set it up, because we don't know exactly where we're gonna be on the trailer because the panels aren't there yet. So right. we're kind of guesstimating where they're gonna be and we're gonna slide it on the frame. So because we're sliding it on the frame, we don't wanna cause damage to the paint. Paint damage. We don't wanna scuff it, we don't wanna scratch it. So when we slide it, like I can freely slide it and we're not cut, scratching it anything. So we'll do that on both sides until we can, like I say, we'll get the panels in there and the panels will tell us where these They'll will be. dictate where these go yes. so you're not tightening, loosening, tightening, yeah. loosening. Okay. And then again, not causing damage, especially right. to a painted trailer. Excellent. So Steve, we just, this is just the center post mount or what, what is this piece called? But it's, it, this is the, an alternate center post system. So normally a center post would get mounted onto your tongue with a much simpler uh, bracket, but because we have a, a swing tongue and it's a very short after the swing tongue, we use this bracket to mount onto the crank mast instead and then we get a lot more flexibility for where we can mount the, the, the post itself. Because so of this? We, we have a big bolt pattern here so we can do a lot of this. So and then that also allows to won't interfere with any steps on your boat? That, that can help in those situations when they do have the steps because you can um, dictate where the center post could be. As long as you right. maintain the correct height, it can be anywhere you want to yeah, put at, it. Yeah, at an angle. At an angle, but because this is a large uh, size rock guard, we need to maintain a 39 inch height. As long as we do that, this post can be anywhere in the plane in front of the boat. So. Perfect, and we'll show that to you as we get a little further in the install lean it against this and you won't get any pullback if you wanted. Okay, yeah. As long, like I say, as long as we maintain that height, that's all you got to worry about. So now with your step, so because you have the blunt front and you want, if you're still doing the access, you can open the one side and still use your steps as you normally would. So you're not losing the function of your your right, of, of anything, of your yeah. rock guard or your steps. Yeah, so, and that's why it, it can be easily open so you get easy access. Because you need access to your crank and to your jack stand, so you want to open one side anyway because it's the style that you have is a blunt front. Well, and on my last one, Mike, like, because it's all here, this was never interfered with. I didn't have to open anything. It, it was awesome. Good. Okay, so now we'll just install the center post and get it to its rough height as well. Okay. We're using the center line of this bolt circle. So we want this post to be in the middle of this bolt pattern. And that's how we can, we're able to change the, the pitch, if you want it, yep. of this post, as long as we're maintaining the correct height. thing with this too is the bolt pattern is based on the thickness of this post so it lets you equally turn it and your bolt one, pattern will just shift. Right, one one bolt hole pattern at a time. Yeah. Yeah. From here yep. to, to the that center hole. of the bolt hole. Yeah, you measure up 39, you can be plus or minus half an inch, it's not right. that critical, but you want to be close to that. Okay. So we're roughly at that point now because if I just put my finger under here, we would be in the right spot. And I just know that for this piece, so if we measure that, I know I would be roughly in the right spot. For the 39 inch. For the 39, which is a large. When you get the rock guard itself, all the posts will be 
installed so you don't have to do anything there. Um, the only thing we have to do now is actually get them into the brackets onto the trailer. Right. And okay. we, what we do is one side at a time, and the, it's the one sides with the short straps makes it just a little bit simpler to handle for the first side. So we'll pick the side that have the short straps on it. And that's just something you've learned from years of Yeah, install. it just makes it easier because you have less to deal with. Yep. So you'll notice this side here has long straps on it. So that's okay. one panel. And then the opposite panel just has the D-ring, double D-rings. And that's okay. your, lock, your tightening mechanism. So it's like a helmet, doing up a helmet. Fair enough, yep. Very same thing. So we'll just roll this one up so it's out of the way. And if you want to grab be that one, Wes, then we'll do that side first. So and it's easy to figure out which side it is because the rock guard label is always on the outside, which is easy, and right. it's in the front. And it's always at the front. <laughs> But for, for Wes's boat, we put two rock guard labels on them, so he's got... So I can show it off proudly. Well. Yes. So what we'll do first is... So again, just these... Kinda, let's just show the camera. They, these just slide in the pockets. Yep. They're, they're, very they're locked in by a, a rope up at the top. They can't come out. So it's a safety feature as well as an easy install feature. Perfect. So what I do is I just lay it on the ground. Okay. Okay, now if you know, so now we're going to start figuring out where these brackets need to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this one. Okay. And if you notice, there's some slots and holes in these brackets. We're going to be using one of two of these slots, but always the bottom hole. You always have to use that one. These two slots give you a pitch change. Okay, yeah. So if you've got a really uh, beefy bow and it comes out really broad, you want to be on the 45 degree angle, which will bring your post away from the side of the boat. Perfect. You don't want to touch the boat. So what we'll do is we'll just pin it. And these are just quick clasps, quick pins, simple locking. Yeah. So we'll put it in. And we're not, we're just gonna leave it at that. And if you notice, everything is still loosey. Mm -hmm. So we don't want everything, anything to be tight. So, so we can do the same with that one. Mine we'll into just, position. Yep, yeah, on the bottom hole. And then push, just push your pin in. Bottom hole of our bracket, bottom hole of the post. Yeah. There you go, and just leave it and like that. And don't lock it yet. No. Nope. Okay. So now, we wanna determine where this first bracket's gonna be. So if you want, you could even slide this right up here. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because now we're going to determine where we need to be. So I'm going to take this. And if you want to pu push your side up at the same time as mine, the side post. Oh, lift it up. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to clip it to the front post. See, now we know we, our spacing for the first one wasn't too far off. So now we can start going backwards. So we know that that's roughly where our uh, second post is going to be. So we're already kind of getting the shape. So now we could put in, now you can kind of pick the angle that you want for the side post. Just, so as, long, just as long as, like you say, it's not rubbing against you the don't boat. Want it, you want, don't want to be any closer than four inches. Right, so now if something, road debris, a blown tire, whatever, yeah hits this, it's got that deflect it's, yeah, it's not and not going to hit the yeah, boat. Yeah, it's not going to go as far as it can and then actually still hit the boat. We don't want right. that to hit the boat. So we're going to bring this back now and we're, I'm going to pick the, the first hole bracket, which is right there. So now this is, and, and keep in mind, everything is still loose here now. Yep. So we haven't tightened, so I have lots of play here. But this is roughly where my clearance is going to be now. So this is, to me, is perfect. Okay. I, like, I like this amount of clearance here. So what I'll do is I'll bring it back and I'll just pick a preset of a distance here. We want a minimum or a recommended two inch return here is what I always suggest. And that's where I use as a default 
for positioning the return on this. And again, this is all to do with the anchor. And then I'll just slide this back. And the other thing that we do is if you notice, the U-bolt is not square to the frame, it's following the frame. Right. So we can make it so it has the most contact possible. So you get good contact on the bar and across and the good contact on the top here. And that's why it has extra width and extra length is because these trailer rails vary. So vary much. quite a bit, yeah. yeah. So now we know what we did here. Now we can just do it on the other side. And now you can actually eyeball where your hardware is so you can pre-position yeah, it a, a little bit. Less guesswork yeah. now. So now we can put this other side on. So next step, Steve, now everything's in place. We found our angles, our positioning on the trailer to the rock guard. Now we can go and Now we can start tightening up. and what we're gonna do is start from the front and we're gonna go backwards. And then we'll just position everything, lock it down to that point and then carry on to the next one and then lock it down at that point and then your anchor is the final detail. And you do side by side simultaneously or can you do one side you at a time? You can do one side and then flip over again like you're installing the panels and just flip right. over and do the other side. All right. Well, it's not every day you get to install an incredible Rock Guard product with the owner of Rock Guard. Steve, I want to thank you for helping me in actually simplifying the process. Uh, roughly uh, one person could do it in an hour and a half. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, with it's... Steve, it took 45 minutes. <laughs> but it's an incredible product, but you have a lot of, like your products fit all kinds of boats. Yeah, we start from uh, personal watercraft, so PWCs, right up to uh, 31, 32 foot ocean going ships at that size. So we cover a quite, a, quite a range. We have 16 variations. So we can cover variations of 16 different sizes. Regardless of the watercraft that you're on the water with, protect your investment with Rock Guard. Steve, thanks for ha joining us and an incredible product. And uh, I'm your host, Wes David, Steve Jeffries of Rock Guard. Enjoy your season.